Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. So in a video that hasn't actually gone out yet, I sat down with Team UK's Fusions, now on the Boston Uprising and their academy team, to talk over the Team USA match. We used the World Cup viewer, looked over his perspective and other perspectives that we thought were worth highlighting because some really cool stuff happened. He gave tips as we went along, that kind of thing. But at the end of the video, I sort of had a normal discussion with him about the state of the meta, the game, and he spoke about the Brigitte nerfs, the Roadhog buffs, Doom fist and kind of what's going to happen to the meta and what might happen in the future if these Brigitte changes go through. This of course has a lot of speculation in it, there's a lot of fusion saying this might happen, it might not, so take all of that with a pinch of salt, but I do think that his opinion is valid on where the meta is going to go and it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. But without further ado, let's get started, you can check out all the fusion stuff in the description below, but let's get going. Before we get started fusions, one of the things that Team UK was known for in the World Cup was that combination between Cabe and Yu, the Shield Bash from Brigitte and the Earth Shatter following through. Now that we have those changes on the PTR, there's no doubt that there'll be a big difference to how you play, but how much of a difference do you feel a change like this does make with this composition? Um. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's, it would definitely be a completely different game, of course, because most of the momentum was based off of the stun shatters and stuff. But the the thing you've got to realize is they were also playing around the way Brig works with the stun. And if stun is different uh, completely, the, you can't stun through Rhine Shields, that makes it a different game for both teams, not just for us. Like, the way it's played would have been completely different in general. So it's too hard to say what would have happened if Brig was changed. Me and Kib had a really good synergy with our stun shatters, and that was obviously the biggest part of the momentum that carried us through these games because we were able to get so many of them off without really getting punished but they couldn't stun through shields in general and focus targets as different like as well as they did uh in this match so it's really hard to say what would have happened if break was changed already because it would have been a completely different game from both teams both teams would have played very differently um but obviously it would have made a big difference to how the game was actually played because the biggest part of our momentum going into this game was the break stun slams when people found out about these changes, they said the Brigitte Goats get stronger. Um, I wanted to get your opinion on that. Do you feel that Goats is going to go away now that Brigitte's weaker? Or is it going to get stronger now that there's no real way to stun and burst down a target? I think it makes um, like the Brig Goats stronger against anti-dive comps because of the healing. But it also... Uh, which which is also hard to say because the monkey could it could be like bad against monkey because of the uh, changes to bubble but in general goats versus goats I think it makes break worse because you can't really stun through shield and you can't stun when they've got a discord on them anymore so it's really hard to actually abuse that now and also the um, the hog buffs I think might make hog a more viable option in quad tank instead of the um, the goats composition with break. So you think we could go from having Goat's comp, which is triple support, to quad tanks with a Roadhog swapping in for Brigitte? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's definitely a thing that could happen, because Hog is... Um, well, the Hog buffs are quite significant, and Brig doesn't do that much against the Rhine anymore, because she's just stunning straight into a shield. The only thing that she really does is heal a lot. So we'll see if it actually makes her not viable in Goat's or not. We, we're not really sure yet. It's, it's really hard to say. Up until the Doomfist nerfs, Doomfist Sombra as a dive comp was sort of used a little bit to counter goats, and I imagine it's a similar thing for Quad Tank, right? So why wouldn't we see more of that if Brigitte gets nerfed? Why instead would we go from one tanky composition to another? Mm, the issue is um, Sombra Doomfist can work against Quad Tank because they're squishier than goats with Brig. But the thing is as well, Hog does quite well against Doomfist and he also can deal with the Sombra. So it's kind of rough to actually play them against that. And with the Doomfist nerfs that are coming as well, it's going to make Doomfist Sombra harder to play against Quad Tank as well. Because the Doomfist has to utilize his E differently. It's going to be a lot harder for him to actually play around Quad Tank now. So that could be like a possible nerf to like anti-goats comps and also just make Quad Tank quite good. So are these Roadhog changes actually really, really good? Do you think people are sleeping on them? Or are they just or is it just going to be better because Brigitte is going to get worse? I think the hog changes are good. I don't think they're like insane, like they're gonna make him uh meta just by themselves. But with all the brig changes coming, it might just be more efficient to play him in tank comps, just because the brig doesn't really do much outside of heal now. Whereas the hog 
once the fight starts can be a really good uh, tool to clean up fights and deal with uh, people like uh, trying to get towards the back line. Especially if like a Diva or a Zarya are being over aggressive, he can punish that really, really well. How about Ash? Now that she's in the game, she's going to be competitive very, very soon. Do you expect anything to change there in terms of the meta with this hero? I'm not sure if Ash will change anything in the current meta. Um, it's really, really hard for me to say because I haven't scrimmed with Ash more than once or twice. Um, I'm not sure if Ash will change anything, but I, I, I think the only significant changes really are going to be the break uh, shield bash changes. And obviously the hog buff adds a little bit of... Uh, uh, mystery like into the mix like we don't know what's gonna happen with that so i guess what you're saying is that the hog buffs are really good uh they're okay but they're not amazing to the point that they're propelling him into the meta game but the brigitte nerfs just make it more both of them contested for the same point so we're gonna see sometimes goat sometimes quad tank as opposed to brigitte completely dropping out the meta yeah pretty much i mean break break is um break is still gonna be good against like anti anti goat compositions like like uh Farrah comps because she heals a bit more now and it's not like brig does anything to Farrah in the first place but in general i think hog might be able to do more now although it's still too early to say what about the future you've recently just signed to an overwatch league team on a two-way contract so you will be in contenders but where can people find more of you fusions um if you want to see me play i'll be playing in na contender soon with uh Boston's Academy team, which is uh, still named to be announced. And obviously, if you want to see me play outside of uh, professional play, you can see me stream on my Twitch. And I also tweet whenever I'm going live. So, yeah. So a lot of interesting insight that came out of Fusions here. I do want to keep this video very short. I don't want to sort of add my own opinion into it at all. So that's it for this time. Thank you very much for watching. Do let us know what you think of what Fusions said here below. And I'll be sure to come back to this topic probably later on into the week when we have more info. And also that we have Ash and Competitive coming in fairly soon. As I said before, you can check out all the Fusion stuff in the description below. But thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.